Hello dear students, I welcome you all to Chakri Academy. I hope that all of you are doing well and completely focused on your board exam preparation. So in today's session, I am going to discuss some very important numericals from the mirror formula and the lens formula. As well as I will tell you how to identify when the focal length is positive or negative because this is a very common mistake in these kind of numericals. Sometimes you take plus, sometimes you take minus without even noticing that what is the reason. I will quickly explain the reason also how to find the sign of focal length of a particular lens or a mirror in the numerical itself. Let's start the session. You see the first question. The first question says that it is basically a question of a concave mirror. So the focal length is given as 30 cm. Find the position of the object. You need to find U such that the image is three times the size of the object. So magnification ka magnitude is plus 3 or minus 3. It can be plus as well as minus and that's what you need to identify whether it will be plus or minus or both. If you remember the ray diagrams of concave mirror, concave mirror forms real and inverted and enlarged as well as virtual erect and enlarged. So it has both the possibilities. If it is virtual erect and enlarged, it will be plus 3. If it is real inverted and enlarged, it will be minus 3. It means that in this question, we need to take two cases. Magnification plus 3, magnification minus 3 and that's what is the beauty of this question. It is one of the best question of your light chapter where you need to know the fundamentals of a ray diagram. Then only you can solve this question perfectly till the end. Let's start solving. So if I take magnification as plus 3, it means the image formed is virtual, erect and magnified. So what is the magnification of a mirror? Minus V by U. So from here we get V equal to minus 3. Perfectly fine. So let's apply the mirror formula. So what is mirror formula? 1 by V plus 1 by U equal to 1 by F. V is minus 1 by 3 U plus 1 by U equal to 1 by F. The focal length is 30 centimeter. Now the question is plus 30 or minus 30. Concave mirror. Concave mirror. This is concave mirror. So focus is here. If I keep the object on the left side, object is mostly on the left side. Object is kept here. Incident light will go in this direction. Correct. And focus is measured in the opposite direction of incident light. Focus is here. Correct. So focal length or focus is in the opposite direction of incident light. So focal length of concave mirror will be negative. Opposite of incident light means negative. So minus 30. So we have only one variable left here. We will solve for u. What can we take common? We can take 1 by u common from here. This will be minus 1 by 3 plus 1 equal to minus 1 by 30. Let's solve it. 1 by u equal to minus 1 by 3 plus 1. So when you take LCM and solve it, this becomes what? Minus 1 plus 3 divided by 3 equal to minus 1 by 30. You can cancel 3 tens are 30. So 1 by u equals to, this will be how much? 2 equal to minus 1 by 10. So if you cross multiply, 1 by u equal to minus 1 by 20. So u will be how much? If you take reciprocal on both the sides, minus 20 centimeters. Very simple. Only thing you wanted to be clear here is that whether magnification will be plus or minus, which I explained that it will be plus and minus both. So I did the calculation by finding a relation between V and U. And the answer is in front of you. U is minus 20 centimeter. I hope that it's clear. Let's move to the next part of this where magnification will be minus 3. So let me erase it. You guys can pause the video and copy the solution. Let's move to the next part of this question. <coughs> For the next part, what we will do, for the next part, we will take the magnification as what? Minus 3, right? We will take the magnification as minus 3 because this time the image formed is real, inverted and magnified. So same thing, 1 by V plus 1 by U equal to 1 by F. So magnification is minus V by U 
which is minus three. So V equal to three. So let's substitute. So one by three U plus one by U equals to one by F. We can take one by U common. So this is one by three plus one, which is minus one by 30. Focal length will be negative. We know that why we discussed it already. So one by U in four by three equals to minus 1 by 30. You can cancel 3 and 30. So 1 by u is how much? Minus 1 by 40. So u will be minus 40 centimeter. For the first part, minus 20. For the second part, minus 40. Do practice this question one more time after the class. Okay. These kind of questions have been asked in your board exam very regularly. This can be asked as an MCQ also or as an assertion reason because we learned a lot of concepts also here. Why magnification is plus and minus both. Okay, let's move to the next problem. Okay, students, let's discuss the next problem now. So, in the next question, we have a convex lens. What is the height of the object? 5 centimeter. Focal length of the lens, 20 centimeter. Object distance, 30 centimeter. Find the position, nature, and size of the image. So, first of all, understand that whether the focal length of the convex lens is positive or negative. So let me just draw a simple ray diagram to explain you this. <coughs> So see, convex lens, when you draw parallel rays through convex lens, after the refraction, they meet at which point? Focus. So let's draw the parallel rays. After the refraction, they meet at which point? Focus. So this much distance is how much? Focal length. So if you see that, you are measuring the focal length in which direction? Towards the right, which is same as the direction of incident light. So the distance what you measure in the direction of incident light is positive. So focal length of convex lens will be positive. I hope that this point is clear. Let's use this data in this numerical. So object height is given. It is 5 centimeter tall. So, object is above principal axis plus 5. Focal length plus 20 centimeter because this is convex lens. What will be object distance? Object distance should be negative because object will be on the left side. So, object distance minus 30 centimeter. Let's apply the lens formula 1 by V minus 1 by U equal to 1 by F. So 1 by V minus minus becomes plus. So this is plus 1 by 30. Focal length 1 by 20. So 1 by V equal to. Let's calculate quickly. Basic calculation. So V is how much students? 60 centimeter. So image is formed on the right side. That's why it is positive. Now to find the nature and the size of the image, what do you need to calculate? you need to identify or find out what is a magnification. So what is the magnification of a lens? V by U. So V is 60, U is minus 30. Magnification is minus 2. Magnification is minus 2. This is a unit of magnification. Magnification doesn't have a unit. Magnification is just a ratio. It doesn't have any unit. So magnification is minus 2. How to read magnification the data? You need to divide that into two parts. First, see the sign. As the sign of magnification is negative, it means image is real and inward. Negative sign tells image is real and inward. If magnification is positive, it will tell you virtual and inner. So, first thing what you can identify from minus 2, since it is negative, nature will be real and inward. Now, Next thing, see the magnitude. Forget about the sign. See the magnitude. Magnitude is 2. So, since the magnitude is greater than 1, it means image is magnified. How much magnified? 2 times. So, if they ask you find the height of the image, there is one more formula for magnification, which is HI by HO. HI by HO will be minus 2. HI will be minus 2 times of HO, which will be how much? What is the height of the object? 5 centimeters. So, minus 10 centimeter. So, this is the height of the image. It means image is formed below the principal axis because height of the image is negative. 
If the height of the image is negative, means below the principal axis. Below the principal axis means the nature of the image is real and inward. You see carefully, most of the things are interconnected. You just need to know what is the right flow. Simple. Okay. So this was a moderate level question. If you solve these kind of questions, your sign convention gets clear. Magnification ka formula. You can comment about nature, size, position, all the things. So let's go to the next problem. Okay, Bacha Bhatti, let's discuss the next problem. An object 4 cm high is placed. So, height of the object is given 4 cm. At a distance of 27 cm in front of the convex lens. So, u will be minus 27. Convex lens, therefore, focal length will be plus. If it is concave lens, negative. Find the position, nature and size of the image form. If you see, this question is similar to the previous question. I think not similar, exactly same pattern. Only values are changed. So I would like you guys to try this question as homework. Okay. Exactly same thing. I told you the sign. So all of you do try this question as homework and write the answer in the comment box. These kind of questions are very scoring and sure shot in your board exam. So do try that. So we will solve one more question which has concept of power involved with this. So let's move to that problem. So if you see the problem, we have two lengths of power plus two diopter minus four diopter. What is the nature and focal length of each lens? So what is the formula for the power of lens? Power of lens is 1 by f where focal length should be meters. So as the power is positive, focal length will be positive. And if focal length is positive, what is the nature of lens? Convex or converging lens. So power is plus 2. So focal length will be 1 by 2, which is how much? So power is 2. So 1 by f, f will be 1 by 2, which is 0 0.5 meters, which you can write as 50 centimeters. Since focal length is positive, it is convex lens or converging lens. Now, same thing if I do for the minus 4 value. So minus 4 equal to 1 by f, so f equal to minus 1 by 4, which is minus 0.25 meters. So minus 0.25 meters means how many centimeter? 25 centimeter with a negative sign. Focal length is negative. Right? Focal length is negative. It means what type of lens? Concave lens or diverging lens. Next, an object is kept at distance of 100 centimeter from the lens of power minus 4. An object is kept at a distance of 100 centimeter from the lens of power minus 4, calculate the image distance. Before solving this, let me ask one more question. What is the effective focal length when these two lenses are combined? So when these two lenses are combined, what is the effective focal? So the answer what we tell is 50 plus minus 25. So 50 minus 25 is 25 centimeter, which is wrong. Whenever they ask you the effective focal length of the combination of two lenses, you cannot add the focal length directly. What you can add or combine is the power of the lenses. So suppose these two lenses are combined and I am asking you what is the effective focal length. So effective power is or equivalent power is 1 by f equivalent. So what will be the power? 2 minus 4 minus 2. So from here, you can say F equivalent is minus 1 by 2. So F equivalent is minus 0.5 meters or minus 50 centimeters. If you observe this data, effective focal length is what? Minus 50 centimeters. If it is negative, it means our resultant lens, which is formed by combining both, is what type of lens? Diverging lens because the value is coming as minus 50 centimeters. Okay, that was not asked in this question, but I have done that. So what you learn from here that you cannot add the focal length directly. What you can combine is the power. So I combine the power, 2 minus 4 minus 2, and from there I found the effective focal. So let's solve the B part. Let me clear some space. I will erase this part. So the B part is... Object is kept at a distance of 100 centimeters. So u will be how much? Minus 100 centimeters. Power is minus 4. So 1 by f equal to minus 4. 
So what will be focal length? Minus 1 by 4, which is minus 0.25 meter, which is minus 25 centimeter. We have done this calculation already. I am doing it again. Now let's find the image distance. So this is lens and what type of lens? See the focal length negative. So this is concave lens. So let's apply the lens formula 1 by V minus 1 by U equal to 1 by F. Correct. So 1 by V equal to 1 by U plus 1 by F. So what is U ka value? Minus 1 by 100. Focal length is minus 1 by 25. Take the LCM. So minus 5 by 100 is what? Minus 1 by 20. So 1 by V equal to minus 1 by 20. So where is the image form? Minus 20 centimeter. It means image is formed on the same side of lens, which means what? What is the nature of the image? Yes, what will be the nature of image? Image is formed on the same side of lens. So it will be what? Virtual and direct. There is one more way to find out that you can find the magnification. So if you find the magnification, magnification will be what? V by U. So V is how much? Minus 20. U is how much? Minus 100. So 1 by 5. So if you observe the magnification, magnification is positive. It means image is virtual and erect. Second thing, magnitude is less than 1. It means image form is diminished or smaller than the object. So that part can be also asked, but we have not asked here, but we have calculated. So I am telling you all the possibilities. Okay, so that whatever they ask, whether it is nature, size, magnification, position, focal length, power, you can calculate anything. Okay. So on this note, we'll keep the session till here. I hope that you guys have understood overall what is the uh, method to approach the questions of lens and mirror. The most important thing is the sign convention. You need to know how to decide object distance, image distance and focal length is plus or minus. Second thing what you need to take care of that don't mix up the formulas. Mirror formula, lens formula, the magnification formula looks similar. So what my suggestion is, remember the formula only for mirror Right? And for the lens, wherever it is positive, make it negative. Very simple method and effective method which you can use in your board exam. So, wish you guys all the best. Prepare properly for your board exam. Chakru Academy is with you. See you in the next session.